friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. Well today I'm going to make some vitamin C gummies and I'm going to take you along for the ride. Now I first heard of the importance of bone broth by reading um, this book by Sally Fallon, um, Nourishing Traditions. And I, I got this book several years ago and it's just been a really great book. I also learned about beet kvass and a whole bunch of really great stuff in here. So this is one of those books that every person that is health conscious and a DIYer and any of that kind of stuff you really should have on hand. It teaches you the importance of you know cooking from scratch and and how to make you know fermented foods and why you need them in your diet and the bone broths and all that. So I recommend getting this book and I'm going to link to it below. I have it linked in several other videos but I've never actually talked about it in any of my videos which is odd because I've had this for quite a while and it is an excellent book. So check this book out. I got it on Amazon and um, I really recommend that this become part of your library for, you know about right along with your good gardening books, herb books and um, cooking books whatever you want. This isn't this has got recipes in it but this isn't a cookbook. This is one I'd call a cookbook because it it goes all through here and talks about the importance of of all these different kinds of things that you should be incorporating in your diet that were common hundreds of years ago. And uh, I could go on and on about it. But anyway, get this book and learn about the importance of bone broth. Now I'm not going to get into all that now. I just want to show you how to do that how, and why and what you can use. So obviously a lot of you know how to make bone broth out of um, chicken bones, beef bones, and whatever it is that you use. and that's one way to get that in your diet but also you can buy a good powdered gelatin and for those of you who are trying to stay away from pork like we are um, you can get beef gelatin there is such thing and the two brands I'm currently been using it are now foods and also another one that I have more recently found that I've been stocking up on is Zint and I will link to both of those below and that's what I have in this jar is some beef gelatin and that's what I'm going to be using to make these gummies. So what I'm going to start with today is I have the very first video I put out last August was on making and canning your own grape juice and these were made from the grapes um, that we grew in 2015 on our grapevines and so it's kind of a it looks kind of brownish and that's because it wasn't all purple grapes it was actually mostly white grapes with some blue grapes mixed in so that's why the color is not you know either yellow you know gold or um, purple <laughs> it's kind of somewhere in between anyway but you can find that video it's right up here um, again the first video I ever did and we had a little glitch and I lost one of my clips so I got a little goofy at the beginning but anyway um, I'll be using this as my base so I'm going to open up the jar. This is the first jar of that I've opened so far. Mmm, oh, oh, smells really good. It smells yeah. like grape juice. I took a taste of this and, and, and got just about what I figured. It is very tart. So if you watch that video, you'll know why. But we had to harvest our grapes really early so they didn't fully get ripe and so they weren't very sweet. So I'm going to be putting half of this into my measuring cup and the other half is going to go in this little saucepan. Also into the measuring cup I'm going to be putting a half cup of the gelatin. Remember we're making gummies people so you're going to need a lot of gelatin for this. This isn't just like a jello, this is gummies. And I don't know where my small whisk is. Darn it. I'm just going to use this big fat one. I need my narrow one. Maybe I've got to put more on the door. Nothing there. Anyway, so I'm mixing this together. And I'm going to add, you can use up to, see, I thought I had just vitamin C powder, but I guess I don't. I got capsules. So I'm going to put several capsules of my Now Foods vitamin C in here. You can also buy just a powdered form and, and go by the tablespoon. 
You can use up to three tablespoons of whatever um, whatever you're going to use in this, and I'll give you some other things. I'm just doing vitamin C. Even though I'm going to probably have quite a bit of vitamin C just in the uh, just in the juice alone. See, that's already setting up pretty good there. It's already starting to gel. Okay, now what I want to do. Oh, I should have put the vitamin C in there before I put in the gelatin. Okay, wow. All right, now some other options you can use are um, a combination of magnesium and calcium. You really want these together, especially if you're taking calcium, you really want it with your magnesium. You're going to get the most out of your calcium if you take these together. They're meant to be together. And I have done... I have done some um, of these with these two. The only thing I didn't like is the calcium doesn't blend as well. It kind of was lumpy. And they cause a reaction that changes the color to maybe a brownish color. So I don't really do that, but I do like to use these in my tooth powder. And I don't remember if that's what I used in the tooth powder uh, video I did before but you can go ahead and check that video out up here I think I did but I don't recall but that's typically what I do now is I add that to my tooth powder and my toothpaste so to the juice that is in the saucepan I'm going to put a half cup of honey now this is optional but I am definitely going to need this honey because this is going to be very tart with a combination of the vitamin C right and then my very sour juice sour grapes so I'm going to go put this on the wood stove and just let this heat enough. I don't. I want to keep my honey as raw as possible. I just want this to heat enough that I can blend it really good. Right, as far as the vitamin C, I will see if I can find the one that's just the vitamin C powder. I really like Now Foods for this. If I'm going to do any supplements, and I will also link to their calcium citrate and their magnesium citrate. These are both in powder forms, or these are not capsules. All right, now that I've got this well blended, I'm going to go ahead and add this gelatin mixture in here, and then I'm going to heat it through again so that this gets well blended. I should have got a bigger pan. This is going to be a little bit, a um, little bit too, a little full. I always tend to do that and get too small of a pan. And just so I can keep a better eye on it, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we're getting a lot of sun, I'm going to go ahead and do this on my hot plate. And if you're new to my channel, you'll probably wonder why on earth I'd be using a hot plate on top of a perfectly good range. And yes, my range works just fine. Um, and that is because I've got my hot plate plug plugged into solar power. So we try to use our solar power as much as possible. So that we're, you know, we did invest in that, so we want to save money on our electric bill by using the solar power whenever possible. Solar power or wood stove. My fire is burning really cool right now anyway and that's fine because it looks like it's going to go ahead and warm up a bit today. So basically all I want to do is just kind of keep stirring this and let it get warm, warm enough that I can pour it. Alright this is getting pretty well blended. I don't want it to get too heated through too much because I'm like I said I'm trying to keep the honey raw now if you choose to leave out the vitamin C or magnesium and calcium that's totally up to you because this is still just a good healthy thing to have um, for the sake of the gelatin alone and if you got a naturally a juice like you're using a natural apple juice or something that doesn't have added sugar that's already you know sweet enough there's no need to add the honey I'm only adding the honey because this is a very, very tart, a very tart juice. Okay, so this is what I'm doing new is I'm using these little uh, silicone candy molds today. And I don't know how easy this is going to be to pour into these. I use these for my soaps. I've made chocolates with them. I've actually tried making some cough drops with them. But I'm going to try to pour these in here. And then I'll tell you about... Another way you can do this if you don't have the candy molds, which is actually a little bit easier. I just wanted to try these this time for fun. As you can see, 
I'm not really good about pouring those into those molds. But here's an easier way to do this and the way I've normally done it in the past is taking a square glass 8 by 8 inch pan and coating it with a you know a thin layer of coconut oil and then just pouring the whole mixture in there and then letting it chill. Um, what I did with the rest is I poured it back into the pan and I'm just going to let it set up in here. Um, you can take this once you're able to carry it and stick it in the fridge or even the freezer for a faster chill time. So if I can get these to where I can carry them without making a big mess, I'll do that. Otherwise, I'll probably just let them sit here and chill up. I will put this in the fridge though. Okay, so I'm ready to get the gummies out of these old trays. And I figured out something, which was one of those dumb moments because I know better. I should have put these on these things like this before I poured them. I did manage to work them on there without making too much of a mess and then stuck them in the freezer and that worked pretty good. But uh, just for future reference, some of you guys or people were probably watching that going, now why didn't she just put those on a cookie sheet or something? Yeah. Anyway, so I'm just pushing the gummies out of the little molds. And like I said, this is the first time I've ever tried making the gummies using candy molds, which they really are pretty cute. These are the flower ones. Here, let me get some of the other shapes out so we can see them all together. Now these, of course, because my grape juice wasn't the uh, prettiest color to begin with, these might not be the prettiest color for gummies, but I'm going to insert a picture here. And those are my mango gummies that I made a while back. And those ones were really good. Just made it with mango juice. Anyway, getting all these out. I'll finish doing this. I'll show you how they all look. Alright, so if you have, let's just say this is the square pan I was telling you about. Um, but it's not, <laughs> obviously. But you can just simply make slices into it like so. And if it's, you know, you got your layer of coconut oil down, which I didn't in this pan, so I don't know how easy it's going to be for me to get them out of here. And then you're just going to take a spatula and you're going to lift them out. It's much easier to work with a square pan than a round one when doing this kind of thing. But this is just to give you an idea what you can do if you don't have the gummy molds. And it really is the easiest method to do it. So see, when I stick that in there that they just they're really easy to just break up into little squares but of course if you're giving these to kids the um the the molds are really fun and i will post a link below to some other shapes that you can get in the silicone molds that are more might be even more kid friendly than these ones but these ones look pretty cool look at that but you know if they're just for you and you don't care what they're what they look like what they're shaped like Right there, you just have some squares. You can cut them as small as you need to. And, uh, yeah, there you have it. Now, once you have your gummies all cut out or pushed out of the molds, the best way to store these is to put them in an airtight container, like a glass slot container, and I'll link to those below. And then store them in your refrigerator. And uh, they'll keep for quite a while in there. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make your own vitamin gummies for you and your family. Thanks for watching, take care, and God bless.